So I guess you're here because your Xbox Game Pass isn't working on your PC. Well, if so, you're in luck because today we'll be going over all the known fixes for this very problem. Funny that. Hey guys, it's Joel here with Make Tech Easier. Xbox Game Pass for PC is rapidly growing in popularity, which makes perfect sense because it matches its ambition to become the new Netflix of the gaming world. No surprises there, Microsoft's gaming platform charges you around $10 for a monthly subscription, for which you get access to a large and ever-expanding library of very impressive games ranging from obscure indies to modern classics and even some of the latest releases. The thing is, the Xbox app in its current state is a bit of a mess, sometimes not running games, sometimes not running itself, so we've decided to round up all of the fixes for this in this video, so keep watching. Whether you're into shooters, racing sims, or just a good old platformer, gaming is a great way to escape to another world and do things you couldn't normally do. Now, before we get too into the intro, if you want to skip ahead to the fixes, hit the timestamps in the description box below. And make sure you stick around till the end of this video, guys, because we'll be going over our list of the best hidden gems for Xbox Game Pass. Gaming can get pretty pricey, with new games usually hitting the shelves at $60 US or more, and potentially even more than that if you're looking to pick up any downloadable content. Does this mean you shouldn't treat yourself when you get the itch to experience a new game? Well, absolutely not. With Xbox Game Pass, you can spoil yourself with a massive library of top games all for only 10 bucks a month. Xbox Game Pass members can access a breadth of options. Microsoft adds new games each month to the service, so there's always something new to play, but certain games are phased out of the catalog over time. Microsoft usually announces when certain games are added and removed from the catalog as well. Now, usually to play a game, all you need to do is download it to your Xbox One and launch it from My Games and Apps. But for those of you who are PC users running Windows 10, you can also sign up for Xbox Game Pass. However, you can only download Xbox Play Anywhere titles. Many of the games in the catalogue feature a multiplayer component, but users will need a separate Xbox Live Gold membership to play online on multiplayer. Games like Sea of Thieves, Forza Horizon 4 and State of Decay 2 were released to Xbox Game Pass subscribers the day they were released. And with that much content at your fingertips, you can dive into gaming's best hits and hottest releases without taking a wallop to your checking account. And if 10 bucks a month still sounds too steep, you can nab a trial to Xbox Game Pass for two weeks to try it out. But what if you've already done all that signing up only to realize your Xbox Game Pass app isn't working correctly? Well, let's dive into some of the fixes for issues around Xbox Game Pass. It's standard practice to sign into a gaming platform, but there are two layers to signing into the Xbox app, and without them, the app will work, but your games won't. First, you need to sign into the Xbox app itself. If you're not already signed in, click the person icon at the top right corner of the app and click sign in. Then enter your details if you don't get automatically signed in or switch account if you're in the wrong account. Once you're signed in to the app and your avatar image appears in the top right corner, you need to make sure you're signed in to your Microsoft account. Click your icon at the top right, settings, change my Microsoft store account and make sure you're signed in to the account you use to pay for Xbox Game Pass. Now that you're signed into the app and your Microsoft account, you can play your games. If the app itself isn't working properly, such as by displaying blank boxes where there should be images or showing an install instead of play button for games you've already installed or other oddities, then you can try re-registering the app. And to do this, you'll need to press the Windows key, search for PowerShell in the start search bar, then right click Windows PowerShell and run as administrator. This is important. In PowerShell, enter the following commands. Now, there are a lot of commands here, so you can copy these from the description box below, hopefully. 
Um, and because the Xbox app is tied to your Microsoft account and the Microsoft Store app, problems with one can lead to problems with the other. A quick fix to reset the Microsoft Store app could also fix your Microsoft app problems as well. Now you're going to need to press Windows key plus R on your keyboard, then enter the command wsreset.exe. This should reset your Microsoft Store app and possibly fix your Xbox app problems as well. For better or worse, well, probably mostly worse, the Xbox Game Pass app is deeply tied to your Windows OS. We saw the problems that can cause with the Microsoft account synchronization, but another major factor of the Xbox app not working are the time settings in Windows 10 as well. Now this is more of a smaller but still annoying one, so we'll show you how to fix that. Your time settings may desynchronize when the time changes in winter and summer during an update or when your PC disconnects from the internet. To correct your time settings, right click the clock at the bottom right corner of your desktop windows, then adjust date and time. Make sure the set the time automatically and set the time zone automatically sliders are set to on and then click sync now. If for some reason your time zone on Windows 10 isn't the one you're actually in, switch off set the time zone automatically and set the time zone to your current one you're actually in. Now hopefully this helps clear up some of the basic issues that are being experienced by gamers around the world at the moment with Xbox Game Pass. Still a great platform, but we hope some of these bugs are fixed in the future. All right, well, hopefully those fixes worked for you guys. Now that you have the app working correctly, Microsoft's game subscription includes all the obvious Xbox hits from Halo to Minecraft. But if you've exhausted those, let's go into some hidden gems for game titles to check out on the platform. First up, Call of the Sea is a 1930s mystery set on a sun-saturated island with a kind of oddball feeling full of mysteries and puzzles. This is a relatively short game that pulls you effortlessly through its engaging story, which happens to be about a curse-inflicted woman who follows her explorer husband on an expedition from which nobody has returned. This is definitely a slower paced game, but still beautiful to look at and worth a playthrough for sure. Next up in Celeste, guide an endearing pink haired woman up a forbidden mountain and through a rather full on mental health crisis in this acclaimed indie platformer. It's tough as nails, but it makes you really have a great sense of accomplishment when you get through it. A game design achievement that fits very nicely with the game's themes of getting to know yourself and overcoming self-doubt. Wow, so deep. Control. Control is another one to look out for. No one makes big ambitious genre adventures like Remedy Entertainment because they are the creators of the simply amazing Max Payne and Alan Wake. The storytelling, combat mechanics and visual imagination are as strong as ever and so this should not disappoint those fans among you. Dead by Daylight has been around for almost 5 years, but this cooperative online horror game is still a blast with a bunch of friends. I for one am a big fan of this game. Four participants are the survivors trapped in a series of nightmarish domains, working together to open the exit doors and escape, while a fifth player takes on the role of a sadistic murderer hunting them down. It's intense, thrilling and fun, except when you get eviscerated on a meat hook, which happens more often than you'd think. Next on the list is Dead Cells. If BAFTA award winning Hades has ignited your interest in the roguelike genre, it's definitely worth picking up a copy of Dead Cells, a 2D scrolling hack and slash set in an endlessly regenerating castle. The game features excellent controls, very cool visuals and a difficulty level that'll test you to the limits and quite possibly beyond, if you know what I mean. Next up, Evil Within. Resident Evil games have revived interest in video game horror, so now is the time to discover this gruesomely effective chiller from Shinji Mikami, who is the creator of Resident Evil 1 and 4. It's a classic third person jump scare fest. Doom anyone? You follow Sergeant Sebastian Kelestanos 
as he sets out to investigate a mass murder at the Beacon Mental Hospital. But then he descends into a monster-filled, hell-like environment where murder awaits. The Gardens Between follows two childhood friends as they explore gorgeous dioramas of their memories and experiences together in this puzzle game. In the game, you scrub backwards and forwards in time to get the friends safely through. Whether you're rewinding giant tapes, playing games on old giant TVs, or running across a giant sofa, it feels both cozy and interesting and could be one to try for something different. And finally, we have Hollow Knight. If you want to enjoy some of the finest animation and the most top-notch 2D game design of recent years, Hollow Knight is where you should be looking. A slowly unfolding, mysterious, and an indescribable alluring adventure takes you to the subterranean depths of a decaying bug world. It's spooky, but not scary. Challenging, but not off-putting. All the elements that create a cool and quirky title. And that's it for our list. If I had to pick one out of these lot, it would be Dead by Daylight. Definitely play it with your friends. Um, it's only multiplayer through network gaming online, but it's an absolute blast. Definitely recommend it. Your Xbox Game Pass app should now be good to go. The next step in ensuring good game performance is to benchmark your GPU in Windows 10 and take a look at our graphics card buyer's guide on our website, which is maketecheasier.com. Well, that's it from me, guys. As always, if you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech-savvy videos. See you next time.